so hey guys how are you all hope you are good so we are back with our new editorial and today's editorial is from code forces round 751 and we are discussing problem b of this contest uh, problem c of this contest it is a div2 uh, div2 contest so problem c and this is uh, also problem a of div1 on div1 div1 category of this contest okay so let's get started with the problem editorial the name of the problem is array elimination and yeah let's go through the problem statement you are given an array a array a of n integers consisting of non negative integers let's define the operations of elimination with integer parameter k as follows choose k distinct integers k distinct array indices from 1 to n and calculate x equals to bitwise end of all k integers where n denotes the bitwise end operation note section contains different uh, definitions subtract x from each element of a i a2 and all other elements remaining untouched so we have to find all possible values of k such that it's possible to make all elements in the array a equals to zero. You can find it number of elimination operations with parameter k. It can also be proven that exist. It can also be proven that exist at least one possible k from all the array. Okay. So this is much the problem statement, and let's go over the uh, editorial. So let me just generalize the problem statement once again. So this is the problem name. as we all know so in this problem we are given an array array and we need to apply the operations on we need to apply an operation on this array so what is that operation we can choose an uh, integer we can choose an, in uh, a number k from 1 to n okay and then we have to choose any k numbers from the array okay and then we have to find the bitwise end of all those numbers and uh, we have to subtract that bitwise and from those k numbers from the array let me see let me show you what does that mean suppose k is equals to 2 we i have chosen k equals to 2 and k should be less than n so there is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 there are nine elements in this right so i have, i have chosen 2 which is less than 9 so it's a valid k and then i have to choose any k numbers from the array i can choose uh 5 and 2 i can choose 5 and 9 as well any two elements okay and uh, what i have to do is suppose i have chosen 5 and 3 okay so 5 and 3 is uh, basically 5 and 3 we have to uh, we have to find the zor of those elements uh, also the zor not zor and of those elements 5 and 3 and then we have to uh, find uh, we have to subtract that end from this i don't know what the zor of 5 and 3 is but uh, it probably will be something like uh, suppose what is 5 5 is uh, uh, you do it to yourself okay guys i am i am i'm just explaining it i don't know what is it so 5 and 3 and then i can choose 3 and 6 6 and 7 8 and 9 1 and 2 and then 5 and 1 as well i can choose any 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 two numbers from those and then our goal is to make the array equals to 0 using this operation so as i choose any two elements from the array i have to subtract those uh, the zor of both of them from each of them and then i have to uh, at uh, any i i can apply this operation any number of times and then i have to make the array equals to 0 whole array 0 0 0 0 till 9 okay and then this much is the problem and one more condition that you cannot change the k each time so for example i have chosen k equals to 2 then i have to make this array equals to 0 with those two elements only choosing each time okay i cannot choose like i have chosen 3 and 6 and then i will choose 7 8 9 these three elements one one ones ones so if i have chosen two as the k then i will only be able to take two elements not three or more or not even one because it's less so i have to choose only 
two elements at the time if I have chosen k equals to two, and k can be any number from one to n. Okay. Hope you got this. If you didn't, put it down in the comments. I will get it to you. And if you didn't get it, then also then please remind the uh, reverse the video. You can I mean not reverse it. Just go back in the video and check it again. Uh, you will be able to get it. I guess. Okay. So we have, we have to apply as many operations as we can, but the value of k should be same in all the operations. Okay. So and we want to print all possible values of k to achieve our goals. Okay. So our goal is to make all the elements equals to zero. So I have to find the number of k values which can be there in this, uh, which can be there uh, to make uh, this whole array, this whole array equals to zero. How many values of k can I use to make this whole array equals to zero each time? Okay. So for those who don't know what a bitwise and is, if you know it's well and good, I am not forcing you to see this, you can skip this part. Okay. And if you don't know, let me tell you. A bitwise AND is, suppose uh, this is the binary rep representation of 3 and this is the binary representation of 4, okay. And bitwise AND is, if 1 and 0 is there, then their bitwise AND is going to be 0. And if 1 and 1 is there, then their bitwise AND is going to be 1. And if 0 and 0 is there, then also 0, okay. And if 1 and 0 is there, then also 0. If 1 and 1 is there, then only 1 can come. Otherwise, nowhere else one can come. Okay, so this much is what bit my sand is. Okay, so let's go with approach now. This is fine. Yeah, it is fine. Okay, so our approach. If you get any background noise, guys, please bear with me. Um, sorry about that. Okay, hope you are not getting. But if you are getting, then please sorry about that. Okay, so and I recommend to watch it in one point five x speed because that is going to be pretty fast pretty not fast uh, normal because I, I might speak a little slow okay so let's go up with the approach okay so we have to make all the array elements equals to zero and uh, oh, that means all binary values of elements equals to zero so for example let's take uh, just ignore this i will tell you what this is is and uh, let's take this is a binary representation of an any number and uh, so we have to make it equals to this and uh, this is this okay suppose this is an array this is an array this might be an array and this is one number this is one number this is one number and this is one number and this is the binary representation of that number okay right and uh, we have to convert this array equals to uh, something look like this if you are getting me and the yeah so for example, if you take two here, this is the binary representation of two, then uh, um, zero, uh, zero, uh, zero, one, zero. So this is the binary representation of two and we have to make two something look like zero. I mean, it should be zero. And then we should make it zero, 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 and zero. So this will be, uh, this, what I'm, this is what I'm trying to say, okay? So, and let's move, move on and we have to obtain we have if we observe closely if i add one if i add any one two three values in the array then and then subtract it from the array then the last element will become always zero okay so what does it mean is suppose i and uh let me change the color okay suppose i and this number this number and this number so these are the three numbers then the end of those is going to be something anything okay or i can end this 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 or i can end first two numbers so let me end first two numbers and show you what does that mean so zero zero one 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 zero one one zero one so this is the number these are the first two numbers if i end those one and one is going to be one 1 and 0 is going to be 0, 1 and 1 is going to be 1, and 1 and 0 and 1 is 0, and this is 0. So if I subtract this from this element, I mean, sorry, um, if I subtract this from this element and this element, then the last values 
after subtracting this from these both is going to be zero okay so it's going to be something like if i subtract this from this so one zero one then it is going to be one minus one is zero and uh, yeah if you you can observe this that one minus if i de decrease this from these both then the last element is going to be always zero because one and one this is going to be zero okay so this what i was this what does this mean and uh, yeah so let's move on similarly if i end first two values of uh first two values then the third and the fifth element will become zero right because they both are first if i if i show you that first two elements these two elements uh third and the fifth value are ones and nothing else is same in them okay so if i end those and then subtract them then those two values are going to be zero so our work will be done for those two values and these two values are we have to make zero after that and i will show you how to do that okay let's move on to the logic part now okay so this is the logic for each element index we have to calculate the number of ones in it okay now let me tell you what does that mean okay let me just delete this and um yeah so i have to write it i have to calculate for each index in the array for each index in the binary representation of each element suppose this is the binary representation of some element this is three three is binary representation so i have to calculate uh i don't know if this is three no this is not three this is four i guess four or five okay so i have to calculate uh for each i have to calculate how many ones are there so in this if i calculate if i if i show you that there is uh, one and two ones in this and similarly one and two in this similarly uh two in this two in this and four in this because one two three and four right i have to calculate this for each uh for each uh, uh for one array okay for that array for each element i have to calculate this so how many set bits are there i have written this shortcut but there are almost 62 set bits because uh 2 is to power 30 is almost that uh not not that but i have it is almost 30 values but i have taken 64 for long long int okay and uh i have to calculate the number of ones so these are the number of ones okay um these are the number of ones which i have to calculate for each index and then then we will calculate the gcd of all those numbers and then we will check how many numbers are divisible by this cd and that will be our answer for example let's calculate the gcd of 2 2 2 2 and 4 so the gcd of them will be equals to 2 if you see and we have to find how many numbers are there in uh, from 1 to n that are divisible by uh that are divisible by two because that is going to be how many k's that are divisible by how many k are there that are divisible by i would say that are divisible by uh that can make this whole array equals to zero or something like this okay so i have to check how many and how many indexes are there how many numbers are there from n to k so uh by more than with two then they are going to give me the reminder equals to zero okay so this much is the problem i guess and then yeah so let me just show you the answer solution i mean you will get it if you didn't get it till now also right so this much is this is my solution and let me explain you what does that mean oh, yeah sorry about that okay so we have taken our integer n and this is v is our vector uh, vector i mean array and we have taken a set i think this is useless set is useless don't see this okay so for uh, we have running we are inputting the vector then we are taking a map uh, not map we are taking a vector of 64 integers 64 uh, indexes because 
there is going to be 64 um, here it is 5 right but in the original it is 64 okay so originally it can be 64 or 32 i have taken 64 for uh, simplicity i mean for safety okay and uh, here it is 1 2 3 4 5 but i have taken 64 here because n can be large so that's why i am taking 64 g is the gcd and i am running a loop from 0 to n and uh, each time i am uh, making a string which is the binary decimal to binary of uh, our integer n so this is the function of uh, decimal to binary i have copied it from G gfg and uh, yeah i will link down this code in the description so you can check it out there if you want and for each string i will traverse over the string okay so this is our string s i will traverse over s the size of the s is definitely going to be 64 because i am running a loop from 64 and i am adding it each time so i can put it as, as dot size or i have put it 64 there okay and then i will check if s comma j is not equals to zero that means it's one then i am going to increment the jth position of my j okay and then i will run a loop to calculate the gcd of uh, this array to calculate the gcd of this array for example in this and uh, after calculating the gcd i will check how many i's are there how many i's are there whose who can be on the place of k okay so how many k's are there uh, whose reminder is uh, how many i's are there whose reminder is zero with g so that will be our answer and we have to print that so this got me accepted and hopefully it should give you accepted as well and it was a great contest for me if you want any other editorial from this contest please uh, put it down in the comments and hope you enjoyed the editorial and if you did thanks for watching and make sure to like share and subscribe bye bye see you in the next editorial